Okay, so I'll show you what's going on here. I don't have the passenger door panel on because uh, my buddy Chris is coming over today and he is going to finish adjusting the glass with me or for me. Um, it's a bit of a process. Uh, I do have the dash is all sort of complete. The radio bezel made by Custom Create, Brian at Custom Create made that for me. Um, it's all in place, the radio's in and working. Shifter's in, but that uh, um, base is not attached. I gotta do that. I have to tighten up the mirror on the passenger side. Uh, the interior is all in except the uh, dome light's not in. The uh, pieces that go below that back window are not in. And the sail panel quarter window piece, I'm waiting from, uh, to come from Mike's Monty's. It was back ordered. So I'm waiting for that to come. Other than that, new headliner is in. Carpet is in. Recaro seats. Uh, if you watch my other video, it's all cut and polished, which is pretty good. Some good tires and rims. Um, Brian, a friend of mine, owns a business that does custom cutting of uh, laser cutting, plasma cutting. I don't know, some sort of cutting of materials. Anyways, he's been... Uh, popping over every now and then, and he's been helping me come up with some sort of contraption that's gonna be a cover for this, uh, to try and hide that ugly truck intake. The problem I have is um, it's very tight clearance to that point where the tape is on the hood. So we've had to do some adjustments to make that work. You can't really buy an aftermarket thing that is going to work on this hood with this configuration that I'm running here with the uh, engine mounts, oil pan, and uh, the transmission cross member I built. Uh, it's pretty tight for clearance. Wipers are all working, which was a, a project in itself. You can see I have the passenger door panel is in, so that's pretty good. Um, everything else is uh, pretty good. So I've got to do just a few odds and ends. You can see we're still playing with the rubber there. Uh, it's very close. It's very near completion. Uh, I'm thinking about swapping the bumpers today. I've got some bumpers out in my pile out behind uh, my storage container. I'm thinking about swapping them today. I do have to do, to repaint these uh, bumper filler pieces. I mentioned that before. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I might swap the bumpers because uh, this one has uh, no impact strip. Uh, the back bumper has an impact strip, but it's trashed. And you can tell like this isn't in, this wasn't installed correctly because I can stick my fingers down there and there's some sort of random pop rivet. So at some point I'm gonna have to address that, but. That is not today. Um, but I am thinking maybe I'll swap the bumpers. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I also have, uh, my truck wasn't running that good, my 57 truck, so I bought it in a new distributor. Its distributor looks like it's from the Titanic, so I gotta install that in my uh, 57 truck sometime. So I'm not sure what all is gonna happen. Uh, I've got a couple of friends coming over. Uh, we're gonna make some progress on something. Not sure what. There's Chris again. He is... Say hi, Chris. How are you today? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, Chris is adjusting the window. Uh, Sean and I brought in these uh, crappy bumpers from out back of the sea can. We're going to see if uh, they clean up okay and uh, are better than what I've got. Uh, Sean's looking at the truck. Say hi, Sean. Hi. There you go. And that's what we're working on.
Chris is playing with the window. Sean is playing with the license plate bracket. We decided we're going to leave that front bumper on because it's better than what I've got for other bumpers. Um, I've cleaned up this back bumper pretty good, the new back bumper. This is what it used to look like. This is what it looks like now, obviously. Took the hitch off of it. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than what's on the car. And uh, it'll do for, uh, for now. I just got to figure out how to... Uh, Chris says it's not that hard. I've got to pull this bumper back off and drop it out and replace it with uh, the shiny one. Chris is screwing around with my stuff that was all fine. Now it's all messed up. I fixed it first time and I'm fixing it again. No, I know what you were going to say. All right. Back at her. Okay, so I thought I would do a recap here because... Uh, there's lots to talk about. So I think the last time I checked in on in this video was uh, we were screwing around with the back bumper and doing some odds and ends. Uh, Chris was doing the adjustment on the glass. Sean and I were cleaning up the back bumper and uh, trying to get something happening for a front license plate bracket. Um, so I'm, I thought I'd, this would be a good opportunity for me to give you a tour of where I'm at with the car and what is left because really I, I don't see that there's a whole bunch left. Um, so we'll start at the front, uh, new hood ornament is on, new grill, uh, the license plate bracket is mounted, um, it's probably not correct, but it is on there and works. Um, the tires and wheels I covered in another video, the cut and polish I covered in another video, this is a little dusty right now. Um, the windows are tinted. It was converted from a Landau to uh, a standard top. Um, so interior, uh, all the weather strips are done, the door panels are on, the seats are in, carpet is in, dash is all together, everything's sorted together, radios in, Shifters in. I'm missing two screws. I got to get two longer screws that fasten that bezel down. So that's on the list. Um, here's where I get into stuff that I need. The uh, dome light you can see is not there. The uh, sail panel rear quarter pieces are not there. So the the sail panel rear, rear quarter pieces were back ordered from Mike's Monies. He shipped them out on Friday, so they should be here soon. The uh, dome light, I've just got a little bit of uh, screwing around to do because I don't have power there right now for some reason. And the uh, the light that I have, the new replacement light, didn't come with the metal contacts. So i got to get that sort of uh, happening. So that's minor, minor, minor details. Um, door closes. We li line them all up. That's good. Uh, let's see... The driver's side. When adjusting the windows, chip the new tint. So this window's got to get retinted. It's not the end of the world. I'll grab the keys. The seat belts are in. The front seat belts. I didn't install back seat belts yet. Obviously, I need to vacuum it again. I didn't install back seat belts yet. Um, I just don't think I'm going to have people in the back. So. I didn't really bother. I'll probably get them later on, um, but they're, you know, they're like 300 bucks American. Uh, the new door sills are in. The uh, speakers are all in. Um, I have the two in the kick panels, and then I have the two six by nines in the back. Go to the back. Uh, I got my license plate mounted. Just kind of cool. New locks all the way around. Um, yeah, so I still have a little bit of tidying to do in here. Uh, I gotta tuck those wires up, the speaker wires up. Obviously everything's sound deadened, and then I have this mat, but I might get like a full mat that goes up and covers the front, but it's just not really a priority right now. Um, getting very close to it being ready for a drive, I think. Uh, venture under the hood this 
my new emblem. Okay, so this is the Gen 4 um, 5.3 liter LS uh, with the uh, Summit Cam. A few odds and ends, DOD delete, uh, variable valve timing delete, all that stuff. Um, as mentioned earlier, a friend of mine is working on what I call a birdhouse, uh, a cover for this engine. Uh, it's very tight fitting to the hood. As you can see, uh, I've had some issues here and we've had to make some adjustments, but uh, everything's fitting, everything's good, it's running well, it has to get tuned yet, uh, I'm working on that. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm probably gonna, I have to take it to my buddy Greg's shop this week um, because the pinion seal, he replaced the pinion seal when it was there for safety and uh, the pinion seal's still leaking. So I gotta see what's going on with that. If it didn't set in right or if it needs another one or something happened, um, not a big deal. And then kind of like a once over all the way through before it goes on the dyno and gets the shit kicked out of it for uh, uh, to see how it's working. So they're gonna reprogram it, remap the computer, remap the transmission and have everything dialed in for this configuration. Okay, so thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for checking this video out. Um, I've got, uh, we got a lot accomplished um, in a short period of time. And I'll probably do a recap video of the whole project when it's all completely done. It's very near now and I'm uh, nervous and excited at the same time. Uh, it hasn't been on the road in quite some time. I'm excited to get it out and use it. I'm also nervous that I'm going to break it. Um, probably won't. Uh, everything I think is pretty bulletproof. But uh, I'm also not going to be really beating on it too much. But uh, I do want to use it and use it the way it's supposed to be used. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Check out my other videos. I don't know. There's like 20 on this car. So check them out. Um, I've got other projects that are coming up. Uh, I gotta finish my Corvair that's in the shop side. Uh, I've got the Beetle that I gotta pick up uh, back from my buddy Greg. And I've got a couple little things to do to my 57 truck. I gotta put the seat in it uh, that I picked up. Other than that, it's gonna be start starting to be time to use these things. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, stay safe.